Young Noble represent the legendary Outlaws. Born in born in LA, raised in New Jersey. Yeah. Cool. So, um, which neighborhood did you grow up in? Like, how would you describe the neighborhood to? You? Um, I grew up in Montclair, New Jersey. Man, it was um a small community. You know what I mean? And um, you know, everybody pretty much knew each other. You know. A lot, of, a lot of hustling going on, you know, a lot of gangster shit, you know what I mean? But a lot of great, a, a lot of great people in the community, man. You know what I mean? Taught me a lot of valuable lessons, you know? Okay, so growing up in your neighborhood um, during the 1980s, um, did you have like a sense of, um, you know, some of the, the political and social tension that was going on? Um, nah, as a kid, nah, I wouldn't say that. You know what I mean? Not at all, you know? I was, I was more in tune to what was going on in the streets, really, you know what I mean? I was a young hustler, man. I started hustling when I was about 12 years old. You know what I mean? You know, my mom was smoking crack. My big brother was hustling and smoking himself. You know what I mean? So I grew up in that element, you know, trying to be the opposite of them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know? Yeah. I mean, with regards to um, what you're talking about in terms of the crack ear and stuff, obviously, um, hip hop seems to have been a big influence on you, yourself and, and the outlaws. So, um, how would you um, say that kind of had that influence on you? Can you kind of break down what um, I meant to it? You know, hip hop, as far as, um, I've always been influenced for hip hop, as far as I can remember. You know, being five years old, listening to my big brother Boombox, he all the, had all the, you know, the, the latest records from Run DMC, the Beastie Boys, LL Cool J, you know, I remember him playing the records on my, Grandma, my grandmother, old ass, big ass record player she had, you know what I mean? But um, hip hop always had an influence on me, you know what I mean? From um, shit, I started doing graffiti real young. Like, that's really how my name got out there. I started doing graffiti and you couldn't walk anywhere, you know, or ride anywhere, you know, then then in, in, in Jersey without seeing my name. You know, as a kid, we used to ride, I used to ride bikes to, to our enemies' hoods write my name on the wall and shit, you know what I mean? Just from, you know, the whole hip hop, you know, just inspired by it. You know, I used to break dance every fucking day, you know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> okay, well, what was, um, how did the Outlaws um, form? I mean, I know this you, but can you, for the audience, tell? Well, we formed from, um, from, from Gaddafi, rest in peace, which was Pac's half brother. We grew up with, with Gaddafi in Jersey, me, Fatal, and Gaddafi is from the same neighborhood, you know what I mean? And uh, Gaddafi also brought Napoleon to the group. Edie and Castro is, is blood family to pop. So it was like, we're not, we not really a group, we really like family, you know what I mean? Everybody uh, knew each other since we was kids, everybody could vouch for each other, you know what I mean? So it wasn't like a, a group of, you know, a whole bunch of rap niggas, it was more so soldiers, you know what I mean? Okay, well, leading into um, the Outlaws, obviously, to me, you seemed like you, you was all at the top of your game during the mid-90s, um, but at the same time, it was like a, a dark era in terms of like this East versus West Coast, which to me, I know that the media, right. obviously, um, laid out, but can you kind of dig a bit deeper in terms of um, that hit em up song and why that really came out for the audience? Well, I wasn't on the hit em up song, but I mean, it came out because Pac had issues, you know, he was fresh out of jail. He was, Letting everybody know he was he was the number one dude. You know what I mean? That's that's what that was about. You know. Mm. You know what I mean? But you know, pocket issues ain't really had nothing to do with rap. It was more so, you know, he just got shot. You know what I mean? All that kind of shit. It was some real, some real live shit. Going on, you know mm. mean? Yeah. I mean, with regards to um, Tupac's death and obviously in the, um, the negative impact it, it had. Um, I mean, you, you went to Las Vegas, right? Was you in Las Vegas when? I wasn't there when he got shot, but I, I went there that day. You went there that day. I mean, what was the whole um, feeling about? I mean, what was the whole vibe when you just went there? You know, just to party and have fun. It didn't matter. You know, our, our big brother just got shot, you know, uh, clinging to life. You know, he was in the hospital for uh, six days. So, you know, we were there pretty much six days on guard. You know, motherfuckers was calling the hospital, talking about they're going to come finish the job. And, you know, so it was like we up there with guns every day, no sleep. <laughs> Wasn't no security up there, nothing like that. You know, we was kids at the time. I, I was like 18 years old and shit. You know, it was some, it was some traumatizing shit to be honest with you. You know what I mean? He was like, he was like our big brother. You know what I mean? Damn near father figure, as young as he was. You know, take care of us. We all lived with him and shit. You know what I mean? It was crazy, man. You know? Yeah, I mean, obviously after Two Pack's death, um, you both joined forces um, on the Machiavelli um, album to me, to me absolutely amazing album, but how did that concept come about or what was it like even being in that album knowing that, you know, 
it's like people thought that Tupac was predicting his death and, you know, it must have been hard for you to be on the album hearing. Um, nah, I mean, we, we recorded the album with him, he was alive, so, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, he just died before it came out, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, as far as him predicting his death and all that, like, he used to talk about that kind of shit, but, you know, we wasn't, we, we was like, the fuck you talking about? Like, if you die, we gonna die, then we, we right here with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you, how you gonna die, you know what I mean? But. You know, it, it's God's will, man. You know what I mean? But that dude shook the world, though. He he uh he he accomplished his mission. You know what I mean? You know. So you 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 gotta as sad as it is, you gotta you gotta salute him with both hands, man. You know what I mean? He shook the world. You know, and still shaking the world. Oh, you know definitely. I mean? so I'm definitely. proud of my dude. You know what I mean? Super proud of. Him. You know, go hard for him every day. You know what I mean? I mean, he's definitely was talking about like, you know, the Illuminati and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, we're now coming to terms of what this thing Illuminati is. I mean, do, are you a believer in this Illuminati or what? Yeah, I feel like, say? you know, whatever one name they want to call it, you know, it is, it's powers that be that, you know, control the masses, you know, and, and um, you know, the, the, the media and the, the propaganda and, and, and want to keep our people down. Like, that shit is real, you know what I mean? But as far as... Secret societies is concerned is, you know, they, they out there, absolutely. They've been going on, you know, for hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years, man. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. No. Just, just 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 wrapping up with two more um few more questions. Okay. Um do you know when um Biggie passed then, how did that make you feel um at the outlaws? Obviously two had gone and then Biggie had left. How did, how do you think that had an impact on yourselves as well as hip hop as a culture? First and of all, music? you know, Biggie was dope, you know, him and Pac was friends, you know what I mean? So you know when he went when he when he passed it, it was like damn you know what i mean uh, another young talented you know powerful young brother gone you know what i mean first and foremost you know i felt like um man it was that was crazy you know what i mean because uh pop died and then Gaddafi died damn it two months after that and biggie died a couple months after that so it was just like you know it was just crazy for us man you know what i mean but um you know rest in peace to big shout out to little c you know what i mean the whole wallace family um, you know, I reached out squads that we did some music with Lil C like last year, you know what I mean? You know, in the, in the honor of uh, both them dudes, because you know, fans still hold on to that 20 year old beef to this day, you know what I mean? It's like, yo, we passed that shit, we grown men. If, 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 if the outlaws and C's, you know, could get over it, you know, our brothers is, is the niggas who died. We was right there, so if we could do it, the fans should be able to do it in, the, in honor of, of them two dudes in hip hop, you know what I mean? And this, what's your um, couple more questions? What's your view on um, the music business? Um, you know, what advice would you give to young people or any people want to get involved in the music business? In these days, um, they trying to get involved in the music business. I say, learn learn the business from the ground up. You know what I mean? And, and build a fan base for, from ground up, so you can be independent and do your motherfucking thing. You know, without having to knock on people's doors begging for opportunity with the internet you connect it to the world so if you're putting out fire the people gonna react to it you know what i mean okay for real and one last question right yeah. right back to the way i've supported jews and supported Tupac for a while thank you um when it comes to like who shot Tupac, i mean where do you feel that he would be right now um if he wasn't shot and who do you think did it like to me as a fan talk about that kind of stuff but um as far as where he could be now, I don't, I don't know. I, I couldn't, I couldn't even fathom. You know, he'd be way on the moon, some goddamn where. You know what I mean? Pac was ahead of his time at 25, so you can imagine where he'd be right now. You know, outlaw for life. You heard Machiavelli live on, Killer Gaddafi live on. The legacy continues, baby. Cool. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on bout.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.